Man at the Crossroads was originally created by Diego Rivera in the Rockefeller Center in New York. The painting was controversial because it included images of people relating to the Soviet Union. Despite protests by artists, Nelson Rockefeller ordered its destruction before it was completed. Only black and white photographs exist of the original incomplete mural, taken when Rivera was forced to stop work on it. Using the photographs, Rivera repainted the composition in Mexico under the title Man, Controller of the Universe. The Rockefellers wanted to have a mural put on the ground floor wall of the Rockefeller Center. Nelson Rockefeller wanted Henry Matisse or Pablo Picasso to do it because he favored their modern style, but neither was available. Diego Rivera was one of Nelson Rockefeller's mother's favorite artists and therefore was commissioned to create the huge mural. He was given a theme, man at the crossroads looking with hope and high vision to the choosing of a new and better future. Rockefeller wanted the painting to make people pause and think. Rivera was paid $21,000 for the work. The central composition was intended to contrast capitalism and socialism, an idea that was approved by Rockefeller. Rivera's composition depicted many aspects of contemporary social and scientific culture. In the center, a workman was depicted controlling machinery. Before him, a giant fist emerged, holding an orb depicting the recombination of atoms and dividing cells in acts of chemical and biological generation. From the central figure, four propeller-like shapes stretched to the corners of the composition, depicting arcs of light created by giant lenses anchoring the left and right edges of the space. Rivera described these as elongated ellipses. Within these, cosmological and biological forces such as exploding suns and cell forms were depicted. These represented the discoveries made possible by the telescope and microscope. The bottom part of the painting was planned to show the controlled growth of natural resources in the form of a variety of plants emerging from their roots, visible in a cutaway view under the soil. However, this section was never completed. It exists only in the later recreation of the composition in Mexico. On April 24, 1933, the New York World Telegram newspaper published an article attacking the mural as anti-capitalist propaganda. A few days later, Rivera added the portrait of Vladimir Lenin, a Russian revolutionary, to the work. This caused a major controversy, and the bad publicity upset Rockefeller so much that Rivera was asked to remove the picture of Lenin. Rivera refused, instead offering to add Abraham Lincoln to the work as a way of compromise. Rivera was eventually fully paid the promised amount for his work, but the mural was covered in drapery and left incomplete. Despite protests from art lovers and attempts to get it moved to the Museum of Modern Art, it remained covered until 1934, when it was destroyed by workmen. Concerned that Rockefeller would destroy the work, Rivera had asked an assistant to take photographs of the mural before it was destroyed. Using them as a reference, Rivera repainted the mural, though at a smaller scale, at the Palacio de Bellas Artists in Mexico City, where it was renamed Man, Controller of the Universe. The new version included a portrait of Leon Trotsky alongside Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels at the right, and others including Charles Darwin at the left. Nelson Rockefeller's father, John D. Rockefeller Jr., is humorously depicted drinking in a nightclub with a woman. Above their heads is a dish of syphilis bacteria.